<laughs> so can you do a whirlwind overview of uh, your career in MMA leading up to this point with the injuries and the undefeated record? And then what's next since um, we're on the topic? Well, I, I did my first fight in a, as a blue belt, and I've been training for about a year and a half. I did nine uh, jiu-jitsu tournaments in 10 weekends, or eight, maybe eight jiu-jitsu tournaments in 10 weekends prior to my first fight in uh, April 2006. Um, I got punched in the face a whole bunch. I didn't realize it was a professional fight and found that out like the day beforehand. That was great. Thanks, coach. Uh it was in Atlantic City, where another place no one ever goes on purpose. So that wasn't great. I got into three, actually three car accidents in the preceding 36 hours before the fight. I had my car totaled. Um, I wasn't driving for any of them. That was great. Uh, it was 2006. It's 2006. Yeah. And then you're I you're a blue belt. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been training for about a year and a half. So you blue belt. You're getting, I mean, uh, if you haven't lived, if you haven't gotten punched in the face in Atlantic City. That's true. I mean, I. <laughs> so these are. <laughs> I would have loved, loved to have it happen for different reasons. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, well, what's funny is, you know, I, I remember, you know, getting punched in the face a bunch, trying to do inverted guard. I won one round, lost two rounds, definitely lost the fight. So Ended you up, went for inverted, sorry to interrupt. You went for inverted guard. Like, can you tell yeah, the story of that fight oh, just real quick? Yeah, sure. It was three three-minute rounds, which is not a professional fight length, although I don't know if professional fight length would have been any better. It's just more time to get punched. <laughs> uh, but uh, I found out partway through, I was like, I remember walking back to my corner in the first round. I'm like, yeah, this guy can't hurt me. And he's like, yeah, my, my corner was my friend Tom and then someone else. And he's like, yeah, I, I would still encourage you to stop blocking so many punches with your face. I'm like, yeah, it's a good idea, Tom. I appreciate that. I'm yeah. going to try that. Um, anyway, uh, I, I remember like I was not, you're not allowed to up kick. So I'm like, great. I was, I, I had no martial arts skills at, at really at all, but if I had anything at all, it was jujitsu. It was very, very little jujitsu, uh, but definitely no wrestling, definitely no striking. Uh, like I was basically a magnet for punches. So that was your time, uh, that was, you know, roughnecking out in Atlantic city as we all do once in a while. Can we fast forward to when you're actually dominating the oh, world sorry. as a black belt? Well, actually it's and funny because then... I took the little bit of money that I, they're like, Hey, we are paying him. Like, Really? It's okay. Like Bukowski I took that money. stories with Ryan Hall. <laughs> okay. Well, then I went to I went to the casino. I went to whatever, like the Tropicana that was right there, the casino, because that was a boardwalk hall. I'm like, you know what, man? This was this has been a not great, not great evening. I'm gonna uh, this is I'm gonna win it back. This is gonna be great. F Fifteen minutes later, they had all the money that I had from the fight was gone. Yeah, I just remember like walking out of the casino, super pissed. And I, like, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I'm not good at gambling. Why? This was not going to make my night better. Yeah. I just thought that there was going to be some sort of cosmic balancing. And maybe it was the cosmic balancing all at once for things I'd done in the Longer past. Longer term, though. Yeah. The, the, the balancing. We'll see. I hope so. But to come. So We're all I mean, dead in the end, though. That is right. true. Time will get us all. Yeah. <laughs> so. But, well, that was. So that was the first one. And that was when I realized I'm terrible at MMA, but I like it. I should just stop this until I one day learn how to actually grapple, mm -hmm. much less learn how to fight. But I remember there's this guy named Dave Kaplan, who's the reason my ears are all messed up, who was uh, on The Ultimate Fighter and got punched in the face and knocked out by Tom Lawler, who I'll always appreciate for doing that. Um, but uh, anyway- uh, Dave or Tom? Uh, I appreciate Tom. I appreciate Dave too. Dave, Dave was great. Dave was just a huge bully and used to like, really not completely unmercifully, but relatively unmercifully beat the crap out of me. And uh, anyway- uh, well, The ears look good, so. I appreciate that. I tell people it's a tumor that I got, and I'm going to, if they want in on a class action lawsuit with AT&T, they should, you know, <laughs> send, send me an email. But uh, anyway- well, you're very financially savvy. I, very good. I, no, I, I just give the impression. Like, Dave basically said, hey, don't worry, man, you're never going to be good at MMA. And mm -hmm. you're never going to be good at grappling either. But even if you are good at grappling, which in my opinion, you will never be- yeah. you will never be good at fighting and i said dave if i do nothing else in my life i'm going to keep training until i can make you pay for that and now that nice. i can make him pay for that really easily he doesn't train anymore but i love dave <laughs> dave's awesome he actually won the singing beat what an interesting dude yeah. super interesting guy but anyway uh, uh no no uh, virginia like speaks a couple languages super interesting guy like shockingly good at jeopardy too mm -hmm. um you know, not that i'm any good but still shockingly good at jeopardy